We try to hide things in desserts because sometimes we just want it to be like very unassuming and simple and like we don't want people to notice all the work behind the dish. You get your biceps going. Yeah, exactly. your workout for the day. <laughs> Fabian Van Hask, Contra in New York City. So what are you making today? We're making a buckwheat mousse with a toasted amaranth and buckwheat, a little bit of caramel and yogurt sorbet. It's inspired by a candy from back home called Alegria. It's like puffed amaranth and it gets cooked with uh, burnt honey. So it's like super dense and then you just bite on it. It kind of crumbles apart. So how do you start with the mousse here? You start by making a custard. What yeah. do you do? Here we have some uh, milk and cream that we infuse with toasted buckwheat overnight. We heat it up with some sugar. Mm -hmm. You just want to bring it to where the sugar is melted a bit. When you have your milk hot, you just add your egg yolks. About and what temperature are you like kind of? As long as it's hot enough to melt the sugar, you'll be safe. I don't like checking for temperatures a lot just because when you're in the thick of it, you, you can't check the temperature of yeah. everything. So like the original inspiration of this dish was this amaranth and that dessert that you had, yeah. like that came from something that was, you know, experiment that went a different direction than you anticipated, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you just look at cooking as like recipes and formulas and everything, then you like miss out on all the things you can do. I mean, like you can get to very different places if you just, you know, you're open to making mistakes and learning from them. I know that there's like home chefs get afraid to almost break away from a recipe. Yeah, um, yeah, I think once you get the hang of cooking, you can just read a recipe doing, and you don't even need to follow grams or anything like that. It's just to touch. Cooking is all about being confident and about just going for it. And not so much about like weighing out things and just making sure that everything's like correct. So at this point, we don't want to cook it anymore. So the gelatin is in there yep. and you're going to pour it off so you can like have yeah. it cool overnight and give that gelatin time to set. 12 hours later or so, it'll have this consistency, which is like a creme anglaise. Then we just dump yeah. it into there. I'm going to try to be helpful right now. Awesome. So we just charge this and we shake it a bit. Once you inject the air, it breaks the custard. So you just want to make sure that it has some time, time to, to rest. Yeah. You just let this cool. Now we're going to puff the amaranth. Okay. So you just take a pan and you get it hot. Dry pan. Yeah, dry pan. You want to add like enough so it coats the surface of the pan. Mm -hmm. What you're trying to do is take the moisture out mm -hmm. and then it'll start puffing when it's good to go. So when you see the smoke, you want to start uh, lowering the temperature. So yeah, you can see it's starting to get there. So at this point, we just take some caramel and we sort of fold it, let it cool down, and we just blend it. Once it's blended, we just mix it with some toasted buckwheat and we get this nice crumble that we And the toasted dessert. buckwheat is to help tie it into the mousse that you've the made mousse, as well, yeah, right? Exactly. So this is a mousse that's been cooling down. Um, we usually cool it down for about an hour mm -hmm. just to make sure that it's the texture we want to be. And then we just put that on the plate and you can see it's not the custard that you had before. Now it's airier and has that like texture that we want. This is the caramel that we were talking about. It's just like thick and luscious. We cover it with these uh, crunchies of sorts. Mm -hmm. So we have the mousse, we have the caramel, we have the crunchies. Now we just need the sorbet. Okay. This is just yogurt. Uh, a little bit of uh, sugar and water and a lot of lemon juice just because we like acidity on all of our dishes. It kind of cleans everything up and you know, I think it's one of those flavors that you always need. So it's a uh, toasted buckwheat mousse with amaranth and yogurt. All right, let's give this a try then. Oh. So I'm gonna dig in, get all the layers like you said. Yeah, it's super fresh and bright because you think the grains have like a, an earthiness to them. Yeah. But then the lemon and the yogurt just kind of like lifts them up. It's great because you have like mousse and then the yogurt. They're both creamy, but they're creamy in completely different yeah, ways. Yeah, different ways. If you had the mousse and the, the grains by themselves, it would be, I think it would be a bit, a bit too sweet. But so you have the, the sorbet and it, that kind of helps out cleaning uh, your mouth and like making it a little fresher. And that's also the things that you're looking for when you're trying to make something like this. How can you balance all those layers of flavor? Right. This is a great dessert. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank Appreciate you. it. Getting that, that cooked all the way through right away because it's going to simmer for a long time. I just want to get it covered in the fat so as it cooks, sears a little bit, but it's going to...